Hello friends, welcome to Renville Educate channel. Today, we will learn some of the basic features of Excel in Home tab. If you see, this is blank Excel sheet. The sheet one is referred as blank Excel sheet and the entire Excel is called Excel workbook. Now, in this, there are several menus. There is file menu, home menu, insert menu, new tab. This is I customize. This is not coming actually. This two you can customize by going uh, uh, under custom ribbon option. This is page layout, formulas, data, review, view, developer, help, power, 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 power table. Uh, see the power, uh, power, power, this is new tab which is coming in Excel. So today we will concentrate some of the basic features here in this uh, session. Now the first one is paste cut copy format fainter this is the clipboard uh, features let me write run will educate as one word now this word the format the font is calibri and the size of this font is 11 which you can see here alternatively you can see what is the font and for font size and the font style you can go to format and you can see under font see calibri body style regular font size 11 so this is how you can view the font style font name font size now the first one is cut so to do that first either you can go and press here or if you just keep the cursor you can see control x this is the shortcut key used for cutting one word so i will use control plus c okay now there is below there is copy that is control c this is control x and this is control C. The what is the difference between control X and control C? Control X is you are removing that word from that cell and when you faced in another cell it will be it will be post it will be shifted to another cell so it will not be there in the existing cell now in the cell b3 there is word run will educate i will i have already pressed the control c sorry control x and i will come in d3 cell i will make this control v see the face after control x or control c the next option is control v that is paste option so i will do this control v okay now the question since i have selected the control c which is copy and i pasted here which is control v the word is showing in b3 as well as d three cell let me let me go to i'll delete this and i'll go to here again i will mention i'll make control x or i will select this then i will come here i will 
sel uh, select this option paste V see that you can see the difference between control X and control C which is nothing but cut and copy the word will remain unchanged in control C the word will be moved from the existing cell to the new cell where you paste this word in control X that is cut option now I will copy this word again that is control C and I will come down and I will make here control V that is paste option now this one uh, the font size the font size this one and this one is the same is the same now I want to make in this is in different font what I will do I will go to select Arial black font and I will change the size to 14 okay and I will if required I will make so uh, no need to make here cut, uh, bold or italic since it is Arial black which is already bold it is showing in a bold color so what I will do the next option is format fainter see this is in existing font with the calibri font and regular style and 11 font size so if you come here Arial black po uh, font size uh, font size is 14 now I want to convert this this word same to this word that is I want to change the font style as well as font size of G4 same like D3 how I can do that I will keep the cursor in D3 I'll go to format painter and I will come and press G4 which will which will modify to the same format of D3 so this is how you can use the format painter now this there is two ta there is two ways to use the format painter if you just select one time and if you uh, do it uh, format painter that is it will apply one time uh, uh, what I mean to say one time formatting suppose suppose sub see now what I will do I will change the color font color now I want to make this font color same as d3 I will if I do one time format painter it will apply only one place so to do multiple times to apply format painter multiple times I have to select two times so see you can see the painter is selected so I will apply the same formatting here still it is showing pop painter I will apply here now to deselect that format painter simply press escape key from your uh, laptop or desktop whatever from the keyboard so this is how to use the first clipboard features cut copy paste format painter the next section see the font okay so the font here the first comes is font which font pk new font for your text so which font you want so i will i have selected now calibri i will change it to uh, anything i have changed to arial rounded okay after that there is second down there is b which is bold you can use the shortcut key control plus b second one is italic that is control plus i and third one is underline that is control plus u so these three 
you can use whenever you want now what i will do i will select g4 cell i will go to control b that is bold see the text is bolded next i next i'll press control i that is the font style is changed from the regular to italic and next i will come to u that is underline so the word renwill educate is underline now so this is three different features under font to change the font font style to make it underline to make it to change the font you can use these features even you can use you can change the font size see there are it's starting from 8 and it is continuing even after the 72 i have made year 72 this is how you change the font size next you have the option year bottom border the borders i mean see here the selection is bottom border but so in this uh, to you may be need to make to keep you some border lines to this cell so select that cell go to this border section and select the borders whichever you want i will make a little attractive here so these are common borders which we are normally using but to draw some borders we can use some line colors borders a line style whichever we want so i will make uh, this one and see the in the uh, upper border is made double thin lines so you can maybe use the border colors line colors maybe red or whichever see how you can see these are the border colors so this is how you can apply borders to your cell or to your uh text any text whichever you want friends in this session we learned the basic clipboard features and font features there is after the border you can see this is the background color okay and this is the font color now i will click color maybe background color make it black you cannot see the text because background color i changed to black and here i will change to white font color see now you can see the text okay next you can increase the font size by clicking this one and you can in, in, decrease the font size by clicking this one or alternatively you can select this drop down also so these are the font features in home tab which you can use in your day to day excel work friends if you like this video kindly subscribe my youtube channel share my videos to your friends and write a nice comment below in the description section i will continue in the next session with the new with the other features of in this excel so you will understand the basic excel knowledge thank you friends